Teams getting ready. Ladies and gentlemen, moving into the next game, game number 51. And it is for placements in the bottom bracket between Zurich and Bratislava. So both teams have had a victory against Firenze today. So they are playing respectively for uh, ninth and, uh, sorry, um, 11th and 12th place at the moment. Firenze um, will have an open game against uh, Vienna today, but um, they are quite certainly not competing or they are not competing for those uh, spots anymore, I guess, due to score differentials at the end of the day. Penalty, blue team. And we're starting the game off really strong with a penalty. One white, one white defender, one blue attacker. With a penalty for Zurich. <laughs> so, Michael Lindner will be defending here or Andre Scotia, not sure yet who will be moving out. Oh, might be Andre Scotia defending the penalty. And we'll see who's gonna take it. For Zurich. Clemens Neumüller. Going in. Good grip on the neck. <laughs> Scotia. Did he get a hold onto the ball? Oh, he couldn't reach the ball. <laughs> it's a nice little trick, just pulling the arm up so Clemens Neumuller couldn't move around him. He's moving a bit too far away, I guess. Uh, uh. Ooh, that was close on the edge for Bratislava, but... Yep. So Andre Scotia with the defense for Bratislava. And he's going to have time. He doesn't have somebody to exchange, so they're having two goalkeepers here for Bratislava, so we'll see how this game continues for him. He surely wants his teammates now to do a lot of grunt work for him. Carry the ball away. Here's uh, Zurich, will surely be now starting to be more pressing, <coughs> trying to attack Bratislava basket over and over again. So Zurich also had quite an effective showing against Firenze, so should be the favorite team to take it away here against Bratislava. But then again, teams being very close and different styles of gameplay might, might very well um, be matching, mixing and matching up in a different way. So we'll see what they can do against Bratislava. Moving in from above, good attempt to bring the ball close to the basket. So far the defense for Bratislava holding up. See Zurich not giving up possession of the ball. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there was an attempt from Andre Scotto to get snatched the ball away, and he's been playing with just one more other goalkeeper the entire tournament, so he's going to be extremely tired at this point, even holding a penalty at this point in time. So, oh, he's holding on to the ledge. This should be, this should surely be a call by the ref. He's standing on the ledge. Ref! Uh, yeah, the video referee should have, been, should have been speaking. Give us a buzzer here in the community. <laughs> oh, that is a bit of a uh, bad luck for Siri. Even getting the replay. Two minutes. Uh, Team wide number two. Attacking the head on the surface. Two minutes. Two there is minutes. a two minute penalty. I think he's been attacking the head after the, he got a free throw. This is a, this is a uh, white team. Timeout, white team. Yeah, maybe it might have been some kind of weird mistake, but yeah. So he's white team number two. Got sent out for attacking the head. There have been no warning before. Attacking the head on the surface after they have gotten the warning for free throw. For themselves. So very, very, very weird coincidence. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, white timeout coming to an end. Teams get ready, white free throw Swiss holding, teammates. white free throw holding. From Helvetia supporting the men's team. All right, two minutes of power play, but a free throw for white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a... Uh, well, who are we to judge the judges? <laughs> <coughs> we are some mere peasants here in the commentator booth. Above the oh, must have been close. Zurich, Zurich is just forcing them back yeah. and trying to hold on to the ball, but <laughs> the player just pushing the button forward. <laughs> just swimming casually against him. Nice little scenery. There goes the dab. And something that. More experienced players. Something. Something that we've seen quite a lot now, and that is a very good tactic if you are in a power play situation. Has to, be, swim to the side, has to be aware of the. Yep. Maybe he actually should have taken the free throw yeah. to wind down the <laughs> clock at this point in time. Open basket now. Oh, this from Zurich coming in. in. Second attempt. Like the pass, the pass the third time. Ball third time's the charm. No. No. Oh, no. The weight on the bottom <coughs> the yellow weight. Yeah. Always fools me. Yeah. Zuri. Oh, but they're not. <laughs> they want to hold on to the wall time when they pull it out. 15 seconds to go. Three minutes to play in the first half. <laughs> A fairly <laughs> even match between Zuri and Bratislava. Do you have some very strong players? Now, fast break. 
for number five, Clemens Neumüller, one of the strongest players the on the city squad. Basket? The basket? Yep, basket stolen away. Stolen. Martin Wern he uh, showed them the basket though. <laughs> yeah. Penalty? No, it is a foul. You, you are, really? Yeah, okay. because you know, he's not allowed to uh, keep himself oh, under okay. the surface okay. But okay, with assistance. Fast break opportunity coming in for Bratislava. One and one. one, one. <laughs> it's getting hold up, held up. It can <coughs> and you can also see how tired the players already are at this point in time. It's the third game of the day for most players. Oh, and there's the, there's the fast break. Can the goalie get into position? Oh, yep, can get into position. <laughs> Clemens Neumüller trying to wrestle Andres oh. Scottier, but chunky boy Meta here oh, at the Champions Cup. But now, yeah, now it's cold. So, the fun fact. Player uh, stealing a the basket also not allowed to wedge Blue because Grito wedging indicates that he's Blue not staying Grito. under the surface by his own power. And you always at all times have to be able, as a security measure, so to say, to be able to stay in the water <laughs> with your own. Uh, oh, there's an open basket! Oh. <laughs> That's was not allowed to just hold yourself as a defender onto the basket. Fun facts underwater rugby trivia, ladies and gentlemen. But there, are open basket again! Coming in the last second. Yeah, this this should be. Oh, why does he go up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a bit of shoving. Uh. <laughs> the basket still stolen away. Can they lock up the ball oh, on the surface? Go <laughs> Going above and beyond, but now the goalkeeper yeah. is back in position. This is this is this is maybe the the worst war of attrition we've seen so far. <laughs> Ah, oh, you can see just both teams grinding each other down, but being so close. Yeah, 12 seconds to go, and if I were Bratislava, I would try to wind down the clock, but now oh, this is over the end there. Oh, <laughs> yet again. <laughs> yet again. What is going on? Half time break. Oh, man. They just want to entertain us. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be honest, this might be one of the most entertaining stretches <laughs> of gameplay we've had so far. Those games, always the best ones. But, but very entertaining for all of us watching to see those teams going back and forth and just those <laughs> millimeters missing. But yeah, in all seriousness, uh, Suri here, absolutely the pressing team, being at the Slovakian basket the entirety of the game. and. Slovakia only having two goalkeepers. You've seen number 23 and um, 87. Uh, just um, those two guys cycling up and down with each other. Number 23 even holding the penalty in between. Saving it. Yep. It is uh, quite the feat. Sometimes, yes. Just, just keep you going. At some point, they will Take break down. Yeah.
couple of seconds to go for the teams to relax and take a breather. And uh, then we will continue with the second half between the Slovakian champion Bratislava and the Swiss champion. His massive bites are burning slowly, burning away. <laughs> Can't lose muscle if you have any. You don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> There's team warning for white team and team warning for blue team for hold both teams. Team warning, holding. <laughs> two team warnings. Teams so get ready. Do, we, do we see another chain of two minute penalties for issued team warnings? So yeah. for those who don't know, team warning issued, so every infringement of the same type from now on is resulting in a two-minute penalty for the player. <coughs> Maybe the refs just want to keep the game going. Don't hold on to each other, just shrimp really. Be free! To ref being in the way at the beginning. See, so we're sweeping in. Got ball. Hopefully, another holding. <laughs> Yeah, this is a situation where attacking the yeah. head is less yeah. punitive. Punch him! Right, Yeah. Grab his fin and remove it. Attack the gear, oh. but just don't hold him. Yeah. Good effort of him trying to hold on to the ball, trying to keep it playable for his teammates, but Zurich taken away by Zurich and Zurich now. Coming in for Clemens Namela. For an attack, he is alone underneath the basket, but doesn't have support. And they, they get a free throw awarded again, being underneath the basket. But no, they, I think now there's the first two minute penalty shoot. There should be somebody exposed if this is a free throw. White team <laughs> number eight, warning, attacking the head. <laughs> <laughs> so Lubomir Schuster is now officially only allowed to attack the equipment. Blue Other than that, uh, <laughs> he is immediately expelled for two minutes. But it's a team warning, it's not an individual No, and it wasn't an individual warning in this one. Mm -hmm. Individual warning is going to be sense for me. And the there was a specific it's player, a number uh, eight, yeah. who got uh, warning. You may as well just give a team warning in that case, because that means someone else in the team can do it. It's just not that player. Yeah. Red Rebel! There is a Bosey shop <laughs> here at the pool. Grab yourself a bike pair. Quite funny. They're trying to go. They're doing it. They're doing it the sneaky way. They're just <laughs> waiting their oh, opponents out. Yeah, there we go. Funnily <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> enough, white, white trunks were not easy to get to up to a couple of years ago. We really had to search for them. We didn't order as a team. But. <laughs> See again, the player tries to find somebody to pass to. 78, Jakob Lindner, the goalkeeper. Christoph <coughs> Kozacek now coming in, goalie pass. position. Yes, we have the chance here. He pushes the goalie out. A little gap and then Ford comes and holds the ball. Oh, there we go. Ball drops down. No one knows where it is. <laughs> 
swim, my friend. He's swimming to the side rather than swimming forward. And this also shows. As long as, as long as it's not number eight, we're good to go. Five and a half minutes to go, approximately. A little back and forth. Let, let's just go into the, let's just go into another penalty, I mean, Yeah. <laughs> you see, Andres Gotia, the goalkeeper, <laughs> trying to go in, but. He must be so tired by now, playing the entire tournament with just his partner. Now he's about uh, 50 years old. Maybe even a bit older. Oh, Zurich, clumsy pass. I mean, I know him since I've started to play underwater rugby, and I've been playing underwater rugby now for about 7, 18 years now. So. And he was quite well established. I mean, his son is playing, and his son is like 18, 20 years old. So it's a shame, Zurich. Slovakia. Oh, Slovakia, real dangerous. There was a gap in the goal. Capitalizing it. Coming in from the right. <coughs> and, but something else that, that's really nice to see is even though a team like Slovakia has been blown out by some teams in the Champions Cup, yeah. as soon as it comes to placement games, yeah. they are somewhat competitive. Yeah. But oh. now. Is the commentator cross striking again? How do you not see his partner? He was swimming towards the goal, looking at the goal the whole time, so he didn't see his partner. He was always quite very low to him. White free throw! White free throw. to go in this game Bratislava against Zurich and uh, even though Zurich has been so pressing in the later part of the first half Bratislava now had some opportunities here in the second half oh, here we go. Oh, and again taken away juggling back and forth Andres got to the goalkeeper though locked up on the surface being able to oh, there was a holding nice. there was a bit of holding there oh, lucky you Player in black. I'm going to call out his name. Yeah, they just need one more player who's yeah. holding the ball for about two seconds in between, and then they're good to go. And again, penalty shooter is B for us, probably, so be happy. <laughs> White free throw. What goal ball? Attacking the head. I haven't been that many yet. White free throw. I've won five beers. <laughs> Still tomorrow. 
we can just split the beer so it's one for the commentators, for the entire commentators team. And we can just <laughs> split them up if it's getting too many. <coughs> Try, Siri. Broken up. Base point just pushed him out. Has somebody played to goalkeeper still in base No defender now. Oh, the pass still being oh, chucked back and forth. just really tired at this point and they just when you're when you're so exhausted so yeah, so yeah. Oh, 10 seconds, seconds to go four seconds last chance to go in nope beer we need a bell insert bell sound here penalty bell <laughs> I mean, the <laughs> replay of the stretching. Uh. All right, so we're going into penalties. We know that uh, Bratislava basically has two goalkeepers. So I think their entire game plan is um, hold the first one, score the second one, off you go. Plays from Vienna getting ready, warming up with next place from Firenze. Next game coming up. Let's see if they have more energy left in the tank than Zurich versus Bratislava. But yeah, a game, a game they like this where you play three straight games um, is taking an immense toll on your body. I mean, everybody knows playing one game, one day tournaments where you just have three, four games on a day. And the last game, usually you're already freezing to death when you just hop into a pool, especially if it's in Czech Republic, because those pools are heated so nicely. Um, but at the Champions Cup, where you've already had a really tough group phase where the competitive strength of the teams is even that much stronger so it really does take a toll Sabri, Rotsko and Michael Littner defending he's stuck with that title now all right. Teams getting ready. After playing 20 straight min minutes of goalkeeper with just two players, having to defend a penalty for potentially 45 seconds. Isn't the Champions Cup fun? <laughs> Yeah, but it is a bit of a bad luck for some of the teams if you're playing low bracket and you have most of your games on the second day. Teams get ready. Savary, Orozco, Orozco coming in, Michael Lindner trying to find Savary, opting out. You can already 
Obviously, he's just pumping. <laughs> yeah, you can see the convulsions. <laughs> wow. He, he's got. Yeah, I did the rest. Surely he should need to check on him. Yeah, he's going up. Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh. The defense oh from Bratislava! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, is, this game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's one more penalty to go. But this White game. Decker, blue is defender. Nuts. Not. It's like he was 98% of the way. <laughs> yeah. You could see how much he wanted yeah. to go up. Yeah. He was like, I'm giving you, I'm going up now, just give me two more <laughs> seconds. I was like, no, I'm going to go in. <laughs> That's my time. My time to, ah, yes. Uh, uh, Teams get ready. All right. <laughs> They, they're going for two or die. It's Andres Logic going against Clemens Neumüller. We're going to see if Andre is giving him an opportunity. <laughs> Clemens Neumüller though, defending really well. Yeah. Andres Logic trying to get an angle onto him. Ah, he gets the grip on the neck. Oh, oh, oh there we go! Oh. Bratislava! Oh. Taking wow. the win <laughs> over. <laughs> Over Zurich after one of the most insane first half. And I gotta be honest, him attempting to go for the score there, I thought yeah, I the, the, this is the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Clemens first attempt, go for it, and Clemens yeah. not. I, I surely thought Clemens Armour was gonna have his hands yeah. in between. That did not look like a safe oh, <laughs> I gotta take <laughs> take a little mo moment of time out for myself. Next game, Vienna versus uh, Firenze is coming up, so I will be right back. Hi everybody, here with me is Andre from Bratislava. Hey, congratulations! Thank you, you much. You not even defended the penalty during the game, but also the penalty that you scored now yes. in the final execution. Yes, uh, that was my... Um, Check. I supposed to do, I was training for it. Yeah, yeah, kind one of a match spinner, huh? One minute. Yes. Have you expected being the game that tough and that you're going to win? Yes, uh, no, we didn't expect winner. We are so surprised and we expect a very tough game, 0-0-1-0. Zero, zero, but we think that Switzerland is a little bit better, but we did it. Yeah, I am very really happy. You also had the like down by several penalties, etc. But you executed it quite well. Thank you very much. I cannot wait to accept for that. Yeah. That's it. Thank you very much also yeah. for being here. Thank Good luck. Okay, teams ready. Six players. Oh, 
10 Torschuss, wenn es mindestens wäre, oder? Was? Did you curse me any because they're not in India? Das war so Bilderbuch, wie man es nicht machen würde. So, ich habe so All right. einer gebettet. Against, uh, they try and try to cover the ball, pass into the middle, fast break, opportunity picked off. <coughs> Artner coming in, trying to get a possibility for Vienna. There we go! <coughs> Goal. Blue number 57. I think it's 57. Young Kinderman not toying around here. <laughs> he said, nope, we're gonna take this one. Easily one back by Vienna. The ball is straight into the corner of the third side. Straight for the goalie, pass to the teammate, and then we have almost another goal there. This gap, and we do another goal. Goal. Blue number 81. 80, 81. Thomas Hoffmann for Vienna. Now, now, heck, now I can have a relax <laughs> after this game. Ah. Stop the clock. Are you willing to make any bets against? Do we have a technical timeout? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna take a shot if Francis goes a goal. <laughs> Two shots. <laughs> <laughs> Off. Okay. Torstens. Continue. Billy <laughs> Button. Oh, I would never take any bet. That <laughs> 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 uh, is consequences <laughs> like this. Oh no. Because we have a little bit of a shoulder in the basket candidate here on the VNB oh, right, side yeah. who might get me into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, Vienna yes, longing, a yearning for ball possession. Bit of that was a hospital there. pass again. Yeah. Good maneuver from the friends player. Where is my meme generator? There we go. So Austria trying to get possession back of the ball. Zurich for checking with forwards. That's why they have a full defense at the goal. They get the ball back. Instant counter attack. Two players. One if one player sees the other. No, he doesn't. He doesn't know the other players there, because the other player was swimming on his backside. Something that I hate. As a coach. Here we go. Number 27 has the ball locked. Pulls it out, but it's recovered by another Zurich player who's now down by the goal, and there's no goal, but. He keeps possession of the ball, or he wins back. No one passes down to. Oh, Kinderman ball dropping down. Oh, very <coughs> sloppy <laughs> ball handling there. <laughs> Was that Kinderman? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I think he uh, probably. I'm quite happy I didn't it. take that bet yet. <laughs> I think they definitely relaxed after the second goal. Yeah, absolutely, and also the. Uh, I, I'm not even sure. I don't think they have one, more <laughs> one more game, game coming up. I'll send it to you. Uh, one more game coming up. Uh, no, don't have any more games coming up. This should be the last game for them, because they're playing. Tournament. Yeah, they're playing all against each other. The bottom four, uh, playing, playing everybody. So this, this should be the last game. game yeah. Right. That's a bit boring for tomorrow. They can sleep in, have a little bit of a continental breakfast at the hotel. The women's team is Here playing at 8. Go, yeah, there pass. we go again. Andreas Edmeyer trying oh. to go for the, <laughs> for the score, but... Yeah, you can see them just being tired after entirely of an rugby. 
Yeah, that will be a valiant, valiant attempt to punch the ball out. Thomas oh, Hofmann. Nice recovery, <coughs> number eight. No, it's number oh. 81, Thomas Hofmann. Holding. Oh, I mean, they got <laughs> Why did they call? No more warnings in this game, Bobby. Mm. Got it. Why did they not just play the advantage? <laughs> Had the ball, there was support there. Would have been too easy. Yeah. Just look oh, here we go. Can you pass it in? <laughs> no. Nah. What? He just passed it <laughs> to the white player. <laughs> Tried a bit of a swally move I there. Everyone is a little bit mental right now, including us. And so are we. <laughs> <coughs> here we are. Insanity. Number seven. Seven or seventeen. It's an Italian, it was 17. No, that was black. 74, maybe? 47, no, 47 isn't playing. Seven, maybe. Okay, friends, I get to the ball. But easily yoinked away by number 74. Here we go, here we go. Building pressure. Coming in from underneath Kinderman. No great go. block. This is good, golden <coughs> good opportunity yeah. again. No, he gets locked Ooh. up. Oh, locked up though. The, the ball dropping out. Friends takes it, but immediately. Do we get the fast behind. break? Can him forward? No, broken up. Zurich takes the ball again. Bad. Gregor no Dersch <laughs> trying to go forward though. The ball being punched out. Oh, very good Matthias Neuntorfer. Number 40 something. 47, Matthias Neuntorfer. Yeah. Coming in. Here we go. Oh, the back wants to go up. He should have seen that. Kinnaman coming in, oh. trying to punch the ball through. Wiesner still on the right side, trying to go in, passing back into the corner. That could have been a golden mailer opportunity. <laughs> Two few enter players. <laughs> Wrestling for the ball amongst themselves. The Kinderman tightening up the space. Pesto. Back to the surface. <coughs> Here we go. Kinderman. One more time. <laughs> Everyone's just too tired. Either that or just literally soaked on the underwater rugby ball. No title. No, I think it's just a tournament. It's the last game of the tournament. You see it taking a toll on the players. They had a really tough match against uh, Barcelona, yeah. which truly has taken a toll. And you could also have seen it on the. Oh, there nice. we go. Okay. Toss Litke. Go. You could see it in the Barcelona team as well. Uh, yeah. I mean, Blue. they were playing really well in, in their last game. But, but still, you yeah. could see one. It was still rather swift and speedy, but all right. Firenze sprinting forward. That was a sudden burst of energy. Stay there. Take the ball to the goal. I saw. Uh, I went to the first time. Uh, about <laughs> <laughs> uh, some players on the fence team uh, from uh, Podgesi, mm -hmm. which is uh, one of the newest, uh, relatively newest, uh, the modern rugby clubs in Europe. Yeah. I think they're going to be around for two yeah. years. So. So, yeah. Fun fact, the father of Jan Wiesner, who's playing today, Uwe Wiesner, has been uh, one of the founding members for this club. In oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he, I think he, he, either, he either lived there for one or two years or he moved there for one or two years or was working, working there, something yeah. like this. So, half time. half time between Vienna and Firenze. We're going to give you a bit of a glimpse of our operation center over here. We have half stash with uh, tea bags. Without any hot water, <laughs> some 
candy. Which is the only source of sustenance we have left. And of course, uh, if you want to pick us up as a sponsor, we're still going for you Monster Energy and uh, Gilore Voice, <laughs> a commentator's best friends, keeping up your sanity and keeping your vocal cords smooth as silk. But I have not had one Do you need, yeah. Do you just put it in there? No, you just put it in your mouth <laughs> and keep it there. <laughs> don't swallow, Bobby. Please don't ever say that. <laughs> Perfect time to <laughs> put our names in. <laughs> yeah. So it's us here from the commentary booth uh, trying to bring you some fun on the World of Rugby content. Also, late in the day, it's been. Oh, let me calculate really quickly. It's 12 been 12 hours today, 14 hours yesterday. So we have 36 hours of other water rugby commentary in the bag right now we have about um yeah no, no, this this one is for tomorrow okay <laughs> oh, i thought we got no we have about uh, half an hour a little bit more than half an hour quarter three quarters of an hour to go and then the two of us will grab our so well deserved dinner for today yeah if they let us out of our cage, little yeah. cage here. I mean, it literally is like a yep. cage. <coughs> you could call it command booth, but <laughs> don't really feel it yeah. at this point. I mean, we're kind of like zoo animals here. Yeah. Uh, it's There's like camera on to us, people Everyone sees us. have little windows. Yeah. Yep. It's yeah. like a little bit of an aquarium. Yeah. Yep. Terror room yeah. in this case. For a very depressed <laughs> Oh. Half time break, nearly over. What's the next one actually? It's Amaga versus the Hammerheads. This could be a close game. Oh, I'm gonna see a bit of a drop there. Did they have a full team, Amaga? No, they're missing. They only have 11 players. Mm. Yeah. Teams ready. Then Amaga is going to be at its best with just six players available. There no, were seven, right? When they yeah, so seven. Yeah. A little bit back and forth in the middle. And the girl trying to get possession of the ball for Vienna. Oh no, though, in the hands of Firenze. Nope. <coughs> Commentator's curse. Over to Vienna, Maracek trying to move in. Left, right, left, right. Guess which way I'm going to pass it. I don't, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into the corner. Here you go. A little bit of a York moment. So we see 28, Andreas Pell playing for Vienna, trying to bring the ball to the, ball to the right. The ball being juggled back and forth between a freelancer player and Vienna. Moving the ball forward. Kinderman. Nice defense, one man team. I'm diving backwards, oh. trying to get the ball Someone back for ball. Vienna. Defender in position. Bubbles. bubbles. <laughs> there should be a soundboard for the bubble sound. <laughs> now Jano is now recovering the ball and trying to move forward. Smile box. Matthias Nanta for coming in. And uh, yep, that was uh, no. him being, let's call it impatient. Blue, number 35. Yep, no goalkeeper on the basket. And uh, he doesn't ask twice. <laughs> he was even awarded to Jano Wiesner. He might have put in the last step. 
Seven and a half minutes to go. And I think at this point in time, Vienna is quickly showing that they most likely will not give up their lead here to Firenze. And uh, actually have been away. <coughs> Some interesting papers here with me. And according to the latest results on the Mainz side, we pretty much decided the places from 10 until 13. And so Barcelona will pick up the 10th place. Uh, Vienna number 11. Uh, then, um, oh no, I'm just Ninth, sorry, Barcelona is ninth. Vienna will be 10th. Um, Bratislava will be 11th. We will have Zurich in 12th and Firenze in 13th place in the Men's Cup. There we go. Another one in for Vienna. Go. Blue. Number. But then again, you can see how closely the teams uh, what is the number of were going up against the Twenty-seven. Games where Twenty-seven. Vienna played. Uh, Group games for Vienna lost three zero and uh, played against Malmö. You could have taken, could have equalized if they Time out. Uh, White team. <coughs> a bit of silly boys in the evening. We had uh, also really tough group games for the Hammerheads as well, who are now playing up. So on the other side, and then there's the seeding, of course, who takes uh, quite a lot of effect, um, depending very much on who you will get in your group, and will very much determine your ability to move up or down in the bracket as well. But also the bottom two teams are very close to each other. We had a close game early in the morning for, for Vienna, um, but then we had a really tough game between Vienna and Barcelona, playing for ninth, so it was going to penalties and basically being decided uh, by a strong penalty shootout for uh, Barcelona. <coughs> and then again, uh, playing for 7th um, and 8th, we will have Rixu versus uh, Pupas tomorrow. And uh, so all those teams will see how they match up. A finished team. Time out over. In the pool. Continue. All right, back with some action and Vienna snatching the ball. Uh, moving forward immediately, Baldo a bit too ambitious though. Stays in the hands of Vienna and still waiting underneath the basket to receive a pass. Ah, nah. Number 42. Right, number 42. Coming in, Andreas Etmeyer for Vienna. Is there another game between Barcelona and Vienna for ninth tomorrow? No, I don't think so. This is on the female side. I don't think there will be another game for ninth place because. Vienna and Barcelona on the man, man side already played against each other. Or do they get another chance <laughs> to go up? I'm, I'm so... So, if you're toying with me... So, it will be Barcelona versus Vienna at 8 on the female side in the morning. But then 10.30, let's go for 10.30. Team 1, place 9. <laughs> <sighs> Of course they do, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. 
So only the 13th place is immediately decided. Right. And the places, uh, they will have placement games for 11th, 12th and 9th and 10th. So Vienna, my boys from Vienna will get a chance to redeem themselves tomorrow. So we'll see who, who will be able to recover better overnight. No continental breakfast. <laughs> so three minutes to go. Free throw, white team. Three minutes to Pushing. go, free throw, fourth to Drenthe. Chat is of course always right. Chat, we gotta be honest. We are a bit tired by now. <laughs> so, one more game coming up after this one. And this should be a close one for to end the day. Kinnaman. Go. Blue team, number 57. Since Jan Kindermann is the boyfriend of Steffi Pop, is he also popping one? Or does he need to <laughs> uh, or does he officially need to marry her uh, to receive her <laughs> last name <coughs> to have the family's I blessing? Think you should uh, pass the one on to Torsten to ask him. Go. It is not double, just presenting the ball. Come. It's all yours. There we go. Another one. Go. Blue team. Number seven. It's one for Peter Maracek. <coughs> On the far side of the goal. Six more seconds to go. And it's very weird. Doesn't want to stop. Another uh, couple of guys coming in. Jan Wiesner from the backside of the goal as well, but left up. And there we go. have an interview coming up a little bit of highlight scenes from the game as a review all the goals so Bobby yes. one more game to go and it's gonna be Amagar versus the New Jersey Hammerheads and uh, this one could actually be a really, really tight game in groups. The last play game Amaga played uh, was uh, Amaga, Amaga, Amaga. Uh, they played the Black Mermaids. Um, they ran into penalties. Black Mermaids and the Hammerheads. Oh, I not each other yet, no. Hammerheads being the other group. 
Hallo zusammen, ich bin hier zusammen mit Jan Uwe von Vienna. Jan, ihr habt gerade eben gewonnen, ziemlich souverän äh, gegen die Italiener von äh, Florenz. Wie ist deine Einschätzung zum Spiel? Ähm, danke Thorsten. Ähm, war ein schönes Spiel zum Abschluss des heutigen Tages. Wir haben heute vier Spiele gehabt, ganz schön anstrengend auf höchstem Niveau gegen viele internationale Teams. Jetzt zum Schluss nochmal gegen die Italiener, die uns einen tapferen Kampf geliefert haben. Und das Spiel haben wir genossen. Dankeschön. Super gut. Wir haben äh, heute auch eine ganz knappe Niederlage gegen Barcelona gesehen. Ich glaube, wir treffen morgen nochmal gegeneinander. Was ist deine Einschätzung? Ganz genau. Wir haben gesehen, es ist ein knappes Spiel. Wir wollen das Spiel morgen drehen und schon in der regulären Spielzeit äh, das Ding für uns entscheiden. Okay. Da wünschen wir auf jeden Fall viel Glück dabei. Jan, vielen Dank. Dankeschön. White ready, blue ready. All right, moving in to the last 20 minutes of underwater rugby for today. Having Amager in white versus the New Jersey Hammerheads in blue. Can pass and there's a golden opportunity right there. Mark showing that they have a strong style. Oh. Both teams making some easy mistakes here. Jinx. Hmm? <laughs> right, sort of surface ref, call by the surface ref. Three throw. Blue for token. Free throw blue for token. When you have long hair but also <laughs> want to play underwater rugby. <laughs> Get those special caps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Need one of those special caps. A lot of hair storage. Ooh, New Jersey coming in, Ooh. passing left and right. Amagado. Defending properly, being in place. Is it the massive amounts of soap that we have purposely put onto the ball to have a bit more fun here in the commentator's booth? Or is it just players getting a bit more tired throughout the entirety <laughs> of the day? It does definitely make our job yep. Yep. A riddle to be, so to be solved by CSI Champions Cup. But for now, uh, yeah, Amagar, we're strong in there. One on two situation, one on three. She holds the ball, she pass it off. Takes it. Holding it out, tr trying to get her teammates. Uh, number 11, Chris Gomez. see a lot of scrumming on the surface yeah. and I think that this is something that we can expect from this game both teams having played very physically throughout the entirety of the tournament and um, both teams also relying on a bit of uh, relying more on um, single-player efforts and um, strong individual plays uh, so far throughout the tournament and uh, we'll see which team can bring a little bit more coordination into the pool or if the, so the experience from the veterans will take over the game at some point but for now Amaga moving in Good opportunity 
Flamaga. Hesitated just for a second too long. Woodfeld recovering for Amaga. Pass forward but immediately taken away. It's so much back and forth between those two. Oh, the basket now stolen away by Amaga. Dangerous situation. Oh, she, has, she has space to swim. Can she move in from the middle? Oh, no. Blocked out. Well done by the defender. Anna Franzen with the opportunity to bring the ball closer. And now the defenders from the jersey. Backing position now called by the ref. Roughing. Roughing. Free throw. Blue. And ball. Roughing. Already has been in the hands of. Show me the ball Joseph. and start after the beep. It is quite interesting also to see if you have teams so late in the evening, already played early in the morning as well, having such a long day. And quite often they still have the discipline and the stamina to defend really well. But when it comes to moving forward Ooh, and here we go, here we go. having a strong and heavy offense, they often lack the final punch. Let's call Vado Ref again. We throw blue. For holding, we throw blue. Blue players, blue players. Show me the ball, you start yeah, after the beat. Also stick to the, the routine that you have yeah. in defense, just cycling up and down. <laughs> Free throw, white. You got to share the ball above the water. Free throw, <laughs> white. You see her teammates splashing her in the face, trying to get her attention. I mean, it should be the same rules all <laughs> over the world, right? No. Sure, sure, sure thing there, yeah. But I'm actually not that sure if um, the US does have Buses. that many international referees, to be honest. Right. As far as I know, there are none. No, but everybody should know it, but yeah. still. Because I think Kaiser and Manuel have been to the US uh, teaching players a couple of times. And again, and coming in from above, but yeah, the ball being chuggled a bit back and forth. But two Amaga players immediately going for the ball carrier. Another free throw for blue. With the last second release. For holding. I will not come with this anymore. <laughs> Gilo Revois, be our official sponsor here at the commentator booth. They've also been very helpful during the World Cup Absolutely. this year and also during the World Cup in 2019. By the way, also shout out to uh, Julia and Katharina, Julia Braunig and Katharina Wenig who have been supplying us with Gelo Revoice because I forgot my own back home. You are keeping our voices somewhat silk smooth. The jersey coming in from above, trying to get something going on the Amaga basket. Amaga though, so far defending well. 
Jersey cycling the ball a bit back and forth, trying to keep them amongst their own players, but also lacking, not having enough players available underwater to create some pressing situations here at the Amaga basket. Now being moving the entire game to the left. Jersey and Amaga, just as we've expected. Blue, number 11, two minutes for using her elbow. Oh, after that's the break. Marianne Heidam. Half time. The captain, the two minute penalty right yes. in front of the. Hmm? Yes. Uh, blue, number 11. That is not Marianne the cat Heidam, the captain the for uh, mm. Amaga. Blue, number 11, is yes. Luisa Gomez. Thank you. Into the sin bin for two minutes. Elbow wrapping. Sometimes if the call is coming from a surface referee and players are moving a little more actively. One minute. That's One minute. It's the final boss. On the last day of Champions Cup, it's getting out of the pool. I remember my last Champions Cup we played with the shoulder injury, and it was like a big bail was <laughs> just coming from the bottom. I was shooting up yeah. and <laughs> just sliding, <laughs> sliding out because I couldn't use my my right Thirty arm to just push from. myself off. This looks so ridiculous. Six in the water, please. Yeah. <laughs> Six in the water? <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, ref. I think she's talking to it's the yeah, That's insult to, <laughs> in, insult to injury. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would love to see this thing. Blue ready, far. white oh, ready. Said it to the US <laughs> to I, think I hope they had one girl yeah. who was just sitting on the surface chilling. Steena Edison. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Okay, let's see. Oh. And we get an immediate attack <coughs> onto the jersey basket. Sidi Tomala, play winning on the left, trying to take up as much space as possible. Above, trying to bring the ball downwards, ooh, pass back, goalie has to move out, being really attacked by two players. Pass back into the middle. Oh, and now a good opportunity. Okay, 
here we go, here we go. Now there's oh. a very good two players underneath as well. Yeah. Yep, there we go. This score. Pernil Jensen. Go white number. Who scored? We have uh, Dina number Iverson two. coming in from above. Passed number upwards two. to Pernil Jensen. Pernil with the Time execution for the lead for Amaga. Show me the ball. Show me the ball. Touch the wall. <laughs> Harsh voice. Yeah. Who's being that gruff? Is Biggie? Is that Biggie's voice? Yeah. Julia Barnek. Julia. Yep. Here again, strong push. Next call for the ref. For holding. Yep. Stop the clock, please. Stop the clock. Discussion. Clock being stopped by the referee. And I think that's, that's a beer for overtime for us if they're having a ref timeout. <laughs> Usually, when uh, the refs are discussing amongst their own, they initiate the discussion, not the player. Yeah. And then they stop the clock, and if a player obviously is trying to uh, run down the clock. The penalty during the clock. Nope. Okay. Penalty is taking a lot of time off the board, yeah. so having a penalty against you on an even game does okay. really take we up have a lot of time. White penalty. Penalty white. Leave the playing field. Yeah. So this might as well. Ready? Uh, Jensen again, Luisa Gomez defending. And still, st yeah, still very. Yeah, there she was going for the grab. Yep. Yep. That's still white goal. Number two. White yeah, goal number two. Moved up. Didn't even use. Uh, didn't even use the floor to push herself off, and then. So this now is a very tough situation for the Hammerheads to be in and to come back from this late in the day being down 2-0 with push holding. Blue free throw. Blue free throw. Blue free throw. Oh, yep. Show the ball above the surface. Well done. See now, Amarga was picking up with the pace still late here in the evening. A surge of energy after going ahead by two. They have to be careful 
not to give Hammerhead the opportunity to just strike through on an empty basket, possibly. So stay focused defensively. Uh, try to block the counterattacks in the middle of the pool. Don't let them stream through. And For holding if you're up 2-0, try to White preserve as much energy throw. in your team as possible at this point in time. White free throw for holding. Also, the opponents have to open up so much to regain possession of the ball if you do it properly. Yeah. Absolutely. Just casually swimming around, and then the block goes up. First throw back into the middle. Exactly what she was doing there. <laughs> yeah. Again, yet again, another push from the Amaga onto the Jersey Hammerheads basket. Oh, a bit of a sloppy pass, but still recovered. Oh, here we go. Number 18. Kirsten but loses the ball, picked off. By the hammerheads. That was a little kick from number 18 there. <laughs> you can see it trying to yeah. keep the ball playable, Ooh. keep the ball moving, but now the little reverse button. Did you pull out? No, didn't pull out the Unugino reverse card. <laughs> yeah, as soon as someone tries to push you out with the ball, you just, right at the last moment, throw yeah. the ball at them. Hand over the ball yeah, and then pull or push them, out, push them out of the playing area. Not a big, meaty situation on the goal there. Maga wins the ball. She dives down with her again. Joe leaves the goal. Here we are attack. Going from above, pulls the goal off for a little second. Yeah, a lot of up and down here in front of the Hammerheads basket. Ball mm -hmm. above the water. Out of bounds. White free throw. Out Maga's of bounds. White free throw. On the bench. Hansen, very good movement by her, keeping yeah. the ball active and... Very good twist in her body, yeah. but now with Kirsta, she's strong, but she's not strong enough to withstand the commentator's curse. By this time tomorrow, we're just going to think something and then it, the opposite's yeah. going to happen. It's the strongest force of them all. <laughs> okay, 95. Doing the best of the rest of the ball for Rotfeld trying to get the ball, keep it in amongst the teammates. Number nine comes in, one against three. She managed to hold the ball. One minute to go. Last and minute. Last Amaga minute. Amaga certainly is going to take this game away, I think, at this point. We can confidently say. The Hammerheads not really able to move out of their own half throughout mm. pretty much the entirety of the second half of the game. Amaga just very assertively keeping the ball within their own team while the Castle Curses strikes. There we go, Reed Fell gets the ball. Rodfell she she finds it. Pass to. Yes, 
Ball comes down, comes free, 79 Sini. Sini has a block, oh, but moves on to the other side. She's trying to pass that over or take it herself. Okay. Ball comes down. Goalie comes off a little bit. Support down there. Dangerous situation here. Oh, oh, even more. That gets drunk out by forward. Back into Maga's arms. There's a gap in the goalie and the goal. Maga keeps up the pressure. Last four, four seconds. seconds. Will they make something happen? Two, and one. And there zero. we go. End of game. Amaga taking away the victory Thank in the ladies. last game of the day against the New Jersey Hammerheads. Ladies and gentlemen <laughs> and everybody else, there will be a short interview, I guess, following this game. But from us here, from the commentator booth. Uh, we bid you farewell for Saturday night. Thanks to everybody watching for the entire day, being with us here at the Champions Cup. Special thanks to everyone participating in the comments, cheering for your favorite teams, giving us feedback, correcting yep. us <laughs> for our misinformation. As Bobby said, we bid you farewell. We're going to leave you with one final interview of our beloved Torsten. And we will be right back tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning very, very one. with Just the last minute. day of the 2023 the Underwater Rugby the Champions the Cup the here the live the from the Berlin, the Germany. The Ladies and gentlemen, okay. good day and good night. Tobi! Tobi! Wir nehmen Sigi! Wir wollen alle nicht. Ich glaube es nicht, oder? Ich glaube, ich glaube, wir sind noch nicht weg. Okay, this was it, the second day of Champions Cup 2024. Unfortunately for the winning team, Amager, we didn't get a person for the interview, but we saw a very nice, exciting last game. We've been 2-0, Amager versus the New Jersey Hammerheads. Tomorrow, we're going to be back here, 8 o'clock in the morning, Euro, at Central European time, and then we've got to be ready for the final matches and then we're also going to figure out and finding out who gonna win Champions Cup 2024. Stay tuned, stay with us. Bye.